Good, how y'all doing? Hey, awesome. Hey. Ho, ho. The Bradley Foundation has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. The Bradley Foundation has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. The Bradley Foundation has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. The Bradley Foundation has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Bradley Foundation has got to go. Hey, hey. Oh, ho, ho. Bradley Foundation has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, oh, ho. Bradley Foundation has got to go. Interesting. Why? The question is why, though. Very curious. Oh, ho. Police brutality has got to go. Hey, hey. The Bradley, the Bradley group. What are what are some of the specific what are some of the specific uh, things they they do that is uh, anti LGBT or anti? Well, like where their funding goes, and I know yeah. like I'm from North Carolina. Oh yeah. Where we have our coat, he's like the of North Carolina. I think he's like uh, like a, a budget financer, and he does these things where um, they put. For cheap um, to go. stores hey, hey. in low-income neighborhoods, oh, oh. and then get the revenue to pay for um, GOP leadership hey, hey. that oh, doesn't oh. support Black and Brown communities. And he's on the board of the Bradley Foundation. Hey, hey. Oh, I see. Just like things like that. Police brutality has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho! Police brutality has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho! Police brutality has got to go. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Police brutality has got to go. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Police brutality has got to go. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Police brutality has got to go. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Police brutality has got to go. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Police brutality has got to go. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Police brutality has got to go. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Scott Walker has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. I see that, uh, I have a sign about the bell curve. Do you know anything about that? Because I've heard, I've, I've heard from some people that it's, like, racist, but I've also heard from other people that... that so I wanted to a meeting, but I wanted to stop by and just show my support. Okay? All right, thanks. Thank you. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Scott Walker has got to go. So you don't, like, do you know anything about the bell curve? Like, what is, what is nefarious about... That book, I've never, I've never personally read it. it uh, I actually haven't read the whole thing, um, but it, it basically, um, jail killer cops, it tries to blame jail killer cops, jail killer cops. It essentially blames uh, black people for their own problems. If they're poor, it's their fault. Okay. They, you know. That is a common thing. That's a common line of reasoning from the right. I've noticed that if you're poor, it's automatically. It's all, all automatically. It's like due to some sort of moral failing on your part, you know. And the bell coup basically is saying um, if if you're not doing well in school, it's your fault. Yeah. Um, it isn't because the schools aren't funded properly. It isn't because um, you know your parents um, were. Uh, also poorly educated and so yeah. and, and are poor and so you can't afford a good education 
um, it isn't uh, because you don't, you can't get uh, proper food to eat. It isn't because you have blood in the water. <laughs> it's because you're just stupid. Yeah. And you were born that way, basically. Um, it's, it's a racist, racist foundation. Interesting. And they, and they promoted it. So they promoted a book that basically, from what I gather, I mean, I don't know much about the book itself, but it seems to be touting these sort of traditionalist, sort of obviously conservative ideas like, uh, well, the problem is just the family and, fam and, and, and church and all that stuff. So, but I don't, I don't know. It isn't looking at, um, I don't know anything about the book, though. Yeah. I mean, they, they should. They funded, it was a big thing about 20 years ago. Um, it's hard now to, to remember back exactly what it was, but yeah. And this building itself looks pretty uh, <laughs> nefarious. I mean, look at that. Just look at him, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know, I came into this just trying to get the scoop. I don't really... I know I know that I don't like uh, traditionalist conservative ideals that much, but I don't really know much about the Bradley Foundation either, so I'm just trying to get... I'm out here trying to get the scoop. They, they, um, they were a small um, charitable foundation uh, you know, doing things with the... Girl Scouts, and things like that. Oh, are they are they are they against then, Girl Scouts or? No, they were doing things with supporting the Girl Scouts, oh. whatever. At one point, and then they they got a huge amount of money, and the the perspective changed. Um, oh, I see. They really went after. Um, You're saying they got like the big right wing money, and then they yeah, started exactly. they started bashing gay people and stuff. Exactly. Okay. I'm getting a clearer picture now. Um, I'm getting a little bit more of a clearer picture. I'm probably not the person to talk to. No. Yeah. I thought, I mean, obviously the rain is an issue, but I thought this was going to be a little bit bigger. Now everyone talks about the Koch brothers and not the about the Bradley Foundation. Um, One thing I've noticed, uh, there's there's boogeymen for both the right and the left. The the right wing boogeyman is George Soros, right? But the left oh, sure. the left wing boogeyman is the Koch brothers, right? So right. do you think they're both nefariously sort of uh, donating to big shadowy crony sort of? Uh, yeah. They're probably both a little shadowy. Um, but to, to what extent? But to what, ex what extent? I'm not really sure. That there's um, some investigating. <laughs> for sure. That's what I'm out here for. I have so many questions. Ask the fellow in the pink shirt when he comes around. I don't want to interrupt the. Uh, well, maybe I do. Bradley Foundation. Defense Killer Pops. Who are, so, who are some of the killer cops Jail that, uh... Killer cop. We saw two in Jail the last killer cop. Oh, yeah? Jail killer cop. Someone was shot in Minnesota Jail this morning. This morning? Jeez. Or yesterday. I saw it on the news. What happened Jail with that? Jail killer cop. So, what I saw Jail was killer killer cops. him and his Jail killer cop. or a woman that he was Jail with, and a uh, little six-year-old in the back money. seat were stopped. Guess, like, oh, was that where he was like pinned down and he just shot him anyway? I didn't see the Is that video. the one? I haven't seen the video. I think I, I mean like I see so many graphic yeah. videos that it's hard to keep track, but I think for so for this one when the when the cop pulled him over, he went he told them I was gonna get my um, wallet out, and like the woman was videotaping the whole time, and as he was pulling his wallet out, the police officer shot him. It's messed up. You can't hide. Like he was a, he was afraid, right? Of, allegedly, like he was like fearing, and then that. I mean, white supremacy means that they're always afraid of black. Yeah. We can see your racist side. Bradley Foundation, you We can see your racist side. We can see your racist side. Bradley Foundation, you can't hide. 
we can see your racist side. Rally Foundation, you can't hide. We can see your racist side. Money for jobs and education, not for the racist. Rally Foundation, money for jobs and education, not for the racist. Rally Foundation, money for jobs and education, not for the racist. Rally Foundation. Foundation. Oh, that's the name of the person that was just so. I, oh, I missed it. For the racist Bradley Bradley Foundation. Foundation. I think I read his Not name on uh, on Facebook today. It happens so much, I have to like take time to like be able to sit and process it. Yeah. He's down. Money for a job. Education. Not for the racist Bradley Foundation. Do you know who, who's this Mark Regner, who's Mark Regnerus? Do you know who that is? I'm not from Wisconsin. Oh, really? No. I know Jim Grappi is. He's like one of the old school, like, civil rights. Not for the racist Bradley Foundation. Money for jobs and education. Not for the racist Bradley Foundation. Thank you. Jobs and education. Not for the racist Bradley Foundation. Jobs and education. Not for the racist Bradley Foundation. Jobs and education. Not for the racist Bradley Foundation. Money for jobs and education. Not for the racist Bradley Foundation. Money for jobs and education. Not for the racist Bradley Foundation. Woo! Bradley, Bradley, we can see your racist ideology. Bradley, Bradley, we can see your racist ideology. Bradley, Bradley, we can see racist ideology. Bradley, Bradley, we can see your racist ideology. What? You're recording us? Bradley, we can see your racist ideology. Bradley, Bradley, we can see your racist ideology. That was a good one. This is a brothers, we're all here today because the Bradley Foundation has $800 million that they've stole from workers' pockets for decades. And the situations that just happened in Louisiana and Minnesota from our brothers Philando Castillo and Alton Sterling the blood is on the hands of Bradley Foundation. Right. They're a white supremacist, racist organization that funded Charles Murray to write the Bell Curve, which essentially says, according to their view, that black people and other people of color are better than Ooh, Ooh, really? No. Dang. No. Is that what that says? Yeah. We're here today saying no! No! Bradley to racism. To stop the attacks against our brothers and sisters in public schools. Bradley wants to privatize all public education. On their board of directors is Foley and Lardner, the one of the biggest union busting firms in this country. Sisters and brothers, are you for unions? For workers? Yeah. 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 All right, so hands off, brothers and sister workers. Woo. All right. Woo. And also we're behind the busting of affirmative action, eliminating our sisters and brothers' right, our human right to be in universities. Also attacks public policy. Every other single progressive game that we have won here in Wisconsin, we got a governor called Scott Walker. Who here like Scott Walker? Oh. Don't like him. Folks are talking about Scott Walker. Scott Walker's a Bradley stooge, a servant, a bootlicker. That's right. Bradley pays him. Pays him. Scott Walker, Robin Bosch, Sensenbrenner, Paul Ryan. All of these racist politicians in Wisconsin have been funded and part. Are by the Bradley Foundation. Also on the board of the Bradley Foundation is a big guy named Art Holt. He's from North Carolina. He was the one who behind the anti-LGBTQ tax in North Carolina, and 
he's advising on how to bring Jim Crow policies here to Wisconsin from the South. And we can go right down the line on the board of directors of the Bradley Foundation. Our slogan here today is 800 million for hate. That's what the Bradley Foundation is. They're about hate, they're about anti-immigrant hysteria, they're about plundering Palestine. On the board of the Bradley Foundation, there's numerous Zionists who support the occupation of our comrades and friends and brothers and sisters in Palestine for an occupation, under occupation by the United States and Israel. We're here today to say hell no, we're standing up to the Bradley Foundation. We're not taking these attacks anymore. And Bradley Foundation's vision of the world is a libertarian view of no, no regulations, no unions, just fending for yourself. Are we going to stand for that? No! Right on. Today we have a bunch of speakers here today from all over the country. And they're going to be here with righteous rage to stand up against the Bradley Foundation and tell how the Bradley Foundation is funding all different kinds of right-wing organizations in their areas, but better yet in how they're fighting back and how we're building a people's movement. Just like in Louisiana right now, the people are in the streets to demand justice. In Minnesota, tens of thousands are in the streets to demand justice. To stop killing cops now. Stop killing cops now. Stop killing cops. 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 Kill killing cops. Kill killing cops. Jail killer 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 cops. With everybody here in Wisconsin from the Young Gift to the Black Coalition in Madison, the Coalition for Justice here, fighting for Dr. Hamilton Justice, and to all the brothers and sisters in our public schools who are putting up a valiant fight against the privatization of public education. Woo! And we stand in solidarity with all those who are fighting against Bradley and Wall Street forces here in Wisconsin, especially against Scott Walker, the suits of Bradley and all the politicians who are trying to send us back to 1910, and we're not going to stand for it. So our first speaker here today is a sister who came out from New York City. She is the campaign manager for the Monica Moorhead and Lamont Lilly uh, campaign. This is from a party called Workers World Party, and it's a socialist party We're trying to get Monica Moorhead and Lamont Lilly on the ballot. We've had organizers here over the last week uh, to get ourselves on the ballot here, and uh, we're going to do that soon. And uh, we welcome uh, Teresa Gutierrez from uh, New York City, who's the campaign manager for Workers World Party campaign. Uh, sisters and brothers, hermanas y hermanos, comrades and friends, I'd like you to stop for just a minute, and I would like to take a minute of silence for our sisters and brothers, Alton, Don Trey, Pilastro, all of those who have died at the hands of the scum, kids, racist killer cops that have killed our sisters and brothers like animals in the streets. Let's take a minute of silence with our fists up and demand no more killings. We have been here way too many times, sisters and brothers. We have shed way too many tears for all of our sisters and brothers who have been gunned down by the police. And did people like Bradley shoot the gun in any of these cases? Well, not literally, but as Brian outlined so well, it is their kind of ideology that causes the death and destruction of all of those at the hands of police brutality, but at the hands of all of those who push back the workers' struggle. Right now, I'm very much following the struggle of immigration as a Mexicana. The struggle for immigrant rights is part of our DNA. And as 
matches like Donald Trump. And he wants to build a wall to stop Mexican and other immigrants. And of course we are saying we're not for building a wall, we're for building solidarity with all the immigrants. Did you know that one out of 113 persons, one out of 113 persons is now displaced in the world? We have the biggest wave of forced migration since World War II. One out of every 113 person in the world is forced to leave their homelands. And right now in Europe, for example, they are talking about immigrants from Africa and Syria and other places and want to build a wall against these, for, against these people when it in fact it is U.S. imperialism. It is it is British and U.S. imperialism that has forced the conditions for these sisters and brothers to leave. It is the war in Syria that is funded by the likes of the brown people our nation. And so we have a lot of work to do, sisters and brothers. We have to push back the kinds of thinking that is created by the likes of Bradley, by the likes of the Cold Brothers, by the likes of the owners of Walmart. They think that they have the day, but they do not. Because we have the power when we organize, when we connect our struggles, we have the power to stop this economy. And that's what we have to get to do. Whether it's May Day next year, like 2006, when the workers cost Wall Street millions of dollars of profit, that's what we have to do. But the mo most important task, and I will end with this. The most important task is for our white allies right now to take leadership and show in solidarity with the victims of police brutality. Because